Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. We have pretty much played a whole season since the last update. We are, as you can see over here, we are champions of the Skybet League One. Um, we've absolutely destroyed the league um, after a really heartbreaking loss in the playoff final uh, last year against Birmingham where we lost in uh, the 120th minute, 3-2. Uh, we basically rebuilt our team, we brought in some new lads and uh, we have stormed the league. We won it in fact with eight games, to, well we were promoted with eight games to go and we were just confirmed champions. We now have the biggest game in Owsbury United history. We have somehow managed to make it to the semi-final of the FA Cup and we've only gone and drawn Arsenal away at the Emirates. So pretty much everyone from Owsbury is going to get on Chilton Railways, going to head down towards Marlebone for, for a big day out at Arsenal. Now, um, we beat Swansea in the last round 4-2 to get into the uh, the semi-final and it was a hat-trick from our superstar which is Lucas Potler. Now Lucas Potler has had an unbelievable season. We brought him in as a free transfer from Inter Milan and as you can see he scored 31 league goals in 37 appearances in the FA Cup. We only really sparingly played him but he still he scored four goals in two. Across the season 35 goals in 39 games 7.56 he has um, been an unbelievable acquisition. The rest of our team is, is done unbelievably well. As you can see, we are... Um, we're, let's, let's show you the team. Let's show you the squad. Or at least, let's show you kind of the, the starting lineup. Let's go to our tactics. So, uh, our goalkeeper has been great. He's about to break the uh, record of the club for the most clean sheets in the season um, with 22. He's only conceded 37 goals in 40 games. He's been excellent. No real mistakes at all. Um, our loanee from Arsenal, Terrell Aguiyakwa, has been solid, um, but to be honest, hasn't really done the role of uh, what we would like from our attacking fullbacks. So only three assists. Um, so he has struggled a little bit at this level. Left back over there, Denver Hume, has been much better with eight assists. Uh, had a bit of an injury this year and which allowed his backup. Where is he? Um, this lad, where is he? Lone E, a guy called Martin Rie, has come in seven assists in 14. So down that left-hand flank, we have managed 15 assists and... Um, He's been he's been excellent over there. The experienced Jordan Willis has been pretty much ever present uh, with 33 appearances, 7.19. Jaffet Tanganga has been again 33 appearances, three goals, 7.19. Very standard in the back there. In midfield, Tom Deli Basharu, a very talented Watford player uh, right now. He has been excellent. Eight goals from centre midfield, eight assists, 7.32. He is on form right now, 7.52 and four goals in the last five games. And then as a uh, deep line playmaker, we've switched between another loney from Watford called uh, Luke May. Done really well. Um, he's an England under-20 international. It, his backup has been Jan Zambarak. And he also has played 30 league games in there. Not as many goals, um, but has been an excellent addition to our squad. Um, Chelsea Loney, left midfield. Um, Mick Bentham, 7.09. Pretty good on the left-hand side. If you remember last year, we had Andre Cooper um, on the left, and Bentham has come in and done a great job there. Uh, this kid here, Hassan Zango, on loan from Everton, came in and has scored seven goals in 11 games. We sometimes play on the left, sometimes playing up front. Really good stats for an advanced forward. He scored uh, two league goals, but mainly we played him in the FA Cup. And he's uh, got five goals in the FA Cup with a nine average rating. And then the other forward over here, Abubakar Sacco, 18 league goals in 31 games. He's done exceptionally well. 
We've had a few other players that have uh, done nicely for us. Frederick Lenun, okay, has done well. He's growing uh, in his potential. He's four and a half stars from Montpellier. And Alfie Payne. Alfie Payne hasn't had a great, oh, well, hasn't really contributed, but he came in and last couple of games scored two goals off the bench. We then have got who else? Charlie Gilmore still knocking around. 127 appearances now for Aylesbury. Again, on the periphery of the uh, team, but can come in when we need him to. Um, who else? Simmons has really fallen away. Although he's got nine goals, he is really across the season. In the league, he's come off the bench 18 times. So he's kind of, we've got really good forwards now. So Simmons is fading away. And uh, Bonetti doing a nice job again he's only played like 10 started 10 scored seven he's got really good potential i don't believe the two and a half stars and then we actually just had our youth intake and lamin so i'm i'm putting um a lot of hope behind him he's uh he's 16 he's got good dribbling good free kick taking i mean it's not bad pace is 12 acceleration 14 determination 11 and work rate 11 I think he couldn't turn into an all right player in our formation, obviously. He's banged in four goals in two non competitive games. Um, so, for a 16 year old, not bad at all. So, anyway, let's get to the basically the biggest game. We have the FA Cup semi final. Uh, the other league, other semi final, either one, Burnley or Watford, would have been probably better than having Arsenal away. As I said, in the, in the quarter finals, we beat Swansea 4-2. In the fifth round, we beat Millwall 2-0. In the fourth round, we beat Ipswich 4-0 away from home. That was a great leg. And in the third round, we beat Oldham 1-0 all the way back um, You know, at the beginning of the season. Second round, we beat Rochdale 5-2. And then first round, where are we? Owlsbury. Here we go, 4-0 against Kidderminster. An unbelievable run for a club like um, like Aylesbury to come up against Arsenal, who are managed by Antonio Conte. They have a regen, the best regen in the game, um, Bob Davies, right now. They paid £146 million for him. Uh, in terms of what they're doing, um, overview-wise, they've, uh, they've finished... Well, they're currently uh, well. They finished second last year in the league. Um, they are a top team, as you can probably imagine. They've got class all through their team. Um, they spent in terms of transfers. This is ridiculous. They spent two hundred and forty-nine million uh, bringing in players, and their wage is obviously um, something like a hundred million a year against Aylesbury. And uh, so here we go. We are not going to change our formation or our tactic. We are going to go to Arsenal. We're going to play attacking. We're going to go for them. And we're just going to see what happens. Now, Terrell Aguiwa is out uh, because he is an Arsenal player. And we are going to play Frederick Lenun at the back. Um, he's a He's an inverted player. He's got a left foot, but... You know what? I have more faith in him than the other fullback that we have, which is Mark Hill. Um, oh, he's injured, so it would have to be him. We'll go with Fian Bia. Um, we'll put, take him off. You know what? Let's put Alfie Payne on the bench because we we need him. We're going to start Zango ahead of Potler, and uh, the only one I'd love to fit in there is probably Martin Rea, um, just in case Hume needs to come off. Now, unfortunately, Jordan Willish and uh, Tanganga both have yellow cards, which means if they got one more card, they would miss the final of the FA Cup, which would be terrible for either of them. But that's just the way it is. Everyone, injury risk is at normal, and this is the team that we're going to go with. Here we go. All right. Obviously, we don't have much hope beating Arsenal, but if we can somehow pull off a shock and get to the FA Cup final as a League One club, uh, would be an unbelievable uh, thing. 
Now, Deeney is saying, remind the players that there's no real pressure on us here. I think that's the way to go. We, we're not, and we're just going to tell the players that we have faith to go out there and make a difference. Give them a little bit of a, a back in. We've certainly got goals in our team. Um, you know, if we we want to go to where do you want to go to? Let's go to kick off straight in there. Bob Davies up front, 142 million. They've got Pepe, Rabio, Zinchenko, Bellerin still there. Musa Dimbele on the bench. Here we go. Goal kick to us. Tanganga with the ball, playing it into May. Switches it out to the left with Bentham. Oh, he's giving it away to Bellerin. This is where we need to really be careful when we give the ball away. Arsenal. Oh, Kane Posha has broken away. Here we go. Probably, I don't know, shot come cross, should we call that to be kind? Martin Atkinson is the referee. So I don't know, maybe maybe you might give us a penalty if we can uh, somehow carve out. Oh, that's Willis. He now misses. Oof, he misses uh, the final, should we get there. Gutted for the experienced centre-back. But is he going to be crying like Gaza? Can he, uh, can he somehow manage to get us to half-time at least? So yeah, the whole season as a whole, we have really cruised uh, the league. We've had such a good squad that we were able to rotate through the Carabao Cup and the early rounds of the FA Cup to keep our league formation or our league push. Uh-oh, Willis is off. We're down to 10 men, away from home. He's lost his head. Willis knew he was missing out on the, knew he was missing out on the final and has been reckless. And now down to 10 men, away from home and 20 minutes in, all, all the boys from Alsbury and Jordan Willis, the experienced centre-back, we now need to take off. We're going to take off Bentham. We'll put Zango at left-back. We're going to put Bentham off for Ross Black, who's going to come in and play centre-back. And we'll just have to leave one up top. What a disappointment. We'll stay attacking. We're not going to change. Maybe we'll change if we get to half time, but let's keep going. Even with 10 men, maybe Arsenal will be really complacent and won't bother. Zango, that's not a place to give that away, especially when Hume was going around. Good save. Good save by Gunnarsson. We've um we've actually been a pretty good team uh, on set pieces. We've done a lot of training on it. I made some custom uh, set pieces, and I'm pretty happy uh, that we've managed to get the ball into the big lads. Oh, Arsenal, piling on the pressure here. Martin Atkinson had to ruin it for us, didn't he? He had to send someone off. Break. Go on, play it into Potler. Kane Posher dribbling all over the place. Oh dear, oh dear. Bob Davies wearing the number six, the regen. Straight into Gunnison. Half an hour in, clearly Arsenal have been dominant, and although we've had more possession. Can we win it high up the field? I don't mind the long ball. We'll win that every time. Go on, Tom Deli. That's it. Get that cross in, London. I thought that might be a penalty. He gave a free kick the other way. Potler absolutely working hard, doing doggies between the two up there. 
Oh, this yes creeps in. Oh, it's been disallowed. Sorry, Bob Davies. Wow, there's a lot of highlights in this game. I love how my fullbacks are so wide, even with 10 men. <laughs> we're, we're pushing. It's our only chance. Sitting back and conceding a, a defeat here, even at 10 men. Go on, Kane Posher. Well, we've had f five shots, all of them off target. We haven't troubled their goalkeeper yet. And we're getting closer to half time with 10 men. Don't give it away there. Oh, Tom Deli to the regen. Oh, and he's ab absolute misser. Absolute <laughs> Mr. Absolute Sitter. Got my words jungled up there. So here we go. Half time. Uh, we've. Somehow we're half time. We're not really going to change it too much. I do need to have a little word with Tom Deli because I need to I need to tell him that he 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 weren't that bad, but he I have in faith that he can improve. And opposition wise, will Dini change a couple of things? You know, this is one of those. What do we go and sit back and try and hit counter? Or do we keep trying to play the same way? I think let's get to... Well, let's just go and start the second half. If we can get somewhere around 30 minutes to go, maybe maybe you want to like try and change. Maybe go counter-attacking. They're clearly going to get get something going forward. Here we go. Bellerin with a throw-in. Oh, great save by Gunnarsson. He's having a great game. Now, just having a little look, Owsbury, we've only taken 3,337 people from Owsbury, and the, the attendance is 55,000. Not much has happened. We're still nil-nil with Arsenal. Going all... Uh-oh. Corner. Everybody back. <sighs> Carroll with an absolute beast of a strike. Here we go, Tanganga playing out from the back against Arsenal. Again, Tom Deli has given it away. He's not on. He's not having a good game. I think we need to make a change with Tom Deli here. We're going to bring on Zambram, and we won't maybe we won't have him so attacking. I think let's just. Let's just put him on a support role. We don't want him getting as farther forward or roaming. We'll have him. We'll have him hold his position, short passion, take fewer risks, and dribble less. Twenty minutes to go. Ten men away from home at Arsenal in the FA Cup semi-final. And we're still attacking. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna keep it. I ain't gonna change it. Corner to Owsbury. May with the corner. And it's broken. And Arsenal are on the break. And Bob Davies has just gone through everybody. And another great save by Gunnarsson. Arsenal have gone to a five-three-two with attacking wing backs. Everybody back for Arsenal for Owsbury. Hound out Zinchenko. Bellerin's got the ball wide. And he's off oh, he's offside. Ten minutes to go. I'm not changing it. If we if we lose by trying to get a winning goal here, then that's fine. That that's just what happens. Eighty eighth minute. Of course, of course the referee. He's only gone and give a penalty in the 88th minute of the semi-final. Unbelievable. Martin Atkinson not only has played us with 10 men, but he's gone and given a penalty in the 88th minute. And that is just so unfair. Right, well, what we need to do is we need to completely go for it. 
just Sacco on, well, let's take off. Oof. We want to take off probably here. Let's learn. We'll take off, take off London. We'll bring on Sacco. Sacco, get up there. Move these two over. Get over. And we'll go just three at the back. In possession. We don't really want overlaps. Um, play through the missile. We'll shoot on sight. Be expressive. Massive high tempo, massive directness, and don't really want to play out a defense here. In transition, distribute quickly, distribute over the defense, long kicks, and then out of possession, we are full on, full on. Confirm changes. And we also go very attacking and shout, push forward. I mean, if we can get one chance, I mean, what a shame. There you go. We lose 1-0 in the semi-final, having played with 10 men from the 20th minute. And Andreas Muller, who is only a, a well, he looks a, a wonder kid, um, has only gone and scored the winner. What a disappointment. Um, all the way to the semi-final. And you not only have a man sent off by Martin Atkinson, but he gives a penalty in the 89th minute. Well, I think that probably caps off an amazing season for Ellsbury. Champions of League One, FA Cup semi-final uh, performance, um, or FA, FA Cup semi-final appearance. And um, and there you go. And they will play Watford in the final. The Hornets make their way to the final. Hopefully they have a better result than they did against Man City. Who knows? What a shocker for, for Jordan Willis. Um, so, so good all through the year. And uh, his first red card of the season comes in the semi-final. Well, there you go. The next update will most likely be at the start of the championship season. By the way, we still have no ground. We're still sharing at Wickham Wanderers. And uh, we have no real youth academy to speak of. So it's still going to be an absolute grind. But this has been an unbelievable season for Owsbury. All right, signing off. Come on, the Ducks. <laughs>